you've tested, you've done a blood panel, you've tested your ferritin and the, the, the iron storage protein, and it's a little bit above optimal, check the ranges below what is optimal, what is suboptimal, and what the problems are that are linked to it. But you've tested it, and now what? Now I see this very commonly in my male patients or in my women postmenopause, or the ones that for whatever reason don't have a monthly cycle, so they're not losing blood every month. And what can you do? Now, first step is obviously to reduce the intake. That would be uh, iron-rich foods such as meat is the most common one, but often that is not quite enough. And then the, the, the other thing would be to donate blood. Um, if you can't donate blood for whatever other reason, then you can go and have a um, therapeutic phlebotomy, so also bloodletting, but just not using it for other people. But then you also want to check why that's happening. If you're not constantly eating tons and tons of meat, why is the body storing it? So one of the reasons could be chronic inflammation or a genetic predisposition. And in functional medicine, 